Hello everybody and welcome back to Top Troops. Today we will be attempting the Easter Meadow Battle Challenge. We have not started on the secondary account as yet, um, so we're going to go through this together. I did it on the primary and let's just say my fire slasher that I have on that account saved me even though it was only at uh, rank 80 or level 80. Uh, very low rank um, and here unfortunately we don't have fire slasher we do have one infernal ember left after I fed him to some of my other units previously and at least we have some of our pyromaniacs so let's see where we get to you know we jump up with the rules so overheat, burn lasts two times longer, deals two times damage and lowers defense by 50% which is great. The damage and health of all featured squads are increased by 80% also great. And then rare damage and health of rare squads are boosted by 9 times and those of epic squads boosted 4 times. You can use a maximum of two epics or legendary units if their level exceeds 120 they'll be adjusted for this tier and then epic the health and damage of epic squads are boosted four times and you can still only have a maximum of two legendary units with legendary rules there are none divisions uh previous same as previous where it is determined by your army's strongest of squads. If we go on back, we can see we're still in Division 2 as we were previously. So, after our summons and level ups, uh, during this very long two week challenge, uh, we'll definitely have a lot of additional units. Now, this is what the game suggests me to use. There's no assassin, so I don't have to be worried about the backline. However, I would much rather be using something like this um, and then let's see about readjusting and repositioning some of these Every level we also get an additional, I think, Celestial Shard. For this tier, Wizards, uh, there you can see Celestial Sun Shard, yes. Great stuff. If we get enough, we I don't think we'll get enough for this round. Uh, we need a lot. I think we only have like 17 or something stupid. Uh, but for these rounds, uh, it's very good to have a wizard or two to freeze the enemy and then have anything that does crowd damage. For instance, your Thord that does his uh, Shock of the Vault. And then obviously the pyromaniacs do the Molotov cocktail that really does quite a bit of damage as well to a group of units. As you saw there, uh, all of the high riders um, tried to come in and attack, but they were all frozen before they could have any knockback effect controlled, which is why you have the wizards and the mechs. And you also want them slightly staggered so they attack at different times. Um, so, yeah. Damage. 
And I'm sure there's more efficient ways of doing this. Um, I'll more most likely be playing around and coming back and trying to improve my score um, during the course of the two weeks. But no, oh, there. For instance, I should have put some goals in the back. I think I'm actually gonna leave it like this. They dealt with them pretty well. Great, but I'm assuming we got those. Let's get back in there and see. Nope, we did not. <laughs> Let's try again. need to adjust a bit for the last level, but let's see how we do. Hmm. Let's check it out first and then we'll adjust if we don't make it. Do this. 
this point. Attempt this after we've done some leveling. Uh, maybe get some of our fire units higher. Possibly get Inferno Shredder or Fire Slasher or something in the uh, summons that we do. But for now, I think that would be it. Uh, and we'll be back with our epic and legendary later. But yeah, if you found this any useful in any way please do like and comment on your experience and how you are progressing in the challenge have a great day cheers